Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. So a user asked about cascading inputs and I wanted to show you a few ways of doing that. So cascading inputs is another really useful feature. You have eight tracks, you wanna set them to your inputs one to eight. So I'll show you a few ways. So the way I like to do it is I select these eight tracks and I have a mouse modifier for it. So I go option, command, shift, double click press enter and now the inputs are assigned to one to eight. The reason they look like that is because in my preferences audio, I have given names to my inputs based on what I like to put on them. So you can save these and recall them for as many interfaces as you have. So I'll show you the action that I have set in my mouse modifiers, go to preferences, mouse modifiers, track control panel, double click. And then I have shift command options set to SWS, AW, cascade, select the track inputs. So this is cool for mono tracks, but what if I want to do it to stereo tracks for example these two tracks should be together because they're two channels for a stereo microphone so if i want to do that there's another native reaper way so i'm going to delete this track i'm going to select these three tracks right click on the record arm and go to assign inputs sequentially and then i go stereo three pairs so if i hit this one as you can see the other three were saved so this is my 7 8 this is my 9 10 this is my 11 12 and you can do what i did from here as well so i can choose these for example from the the same menu and go input sequentially mono six inputs and then start it here so i can start from one to six or two to seven three to eight whatever and this works for midi as well so if you want to quickly assign eight midi channels you just come here and go for example my master key and then go channels one to six so this is a quick way of doing it but there are no hotkeys assigned to it so additionally i added that hotkey to the whole situation makes it really fast so now i got this structure going and that's really cool and i always use the same inputs but you probably want to not name these because you may use different different things. I'm going to go to track layout. I'm going to go to track panel and set all of these to my C and my C has these meters. So these are better for recording tracks. If you ask me now, what I can do is I can sh save this whole shebang as a track template. So I go save as track template. I've already saved this before. So I'm just going to save over it and go replace. And now another thing you can do, if you want to get really fancy with it, go to extensions, resources, go here to track template, go add slot, right click on it, load slot file, and then bring this in, which I've already brought in. And now you can give it a, hotkey so i have set mine to command option shift and f9 import tracks from track template slot 2 so if i delete these and then i just hit my hotkey let's say in a project i'm not working with any of these i'm just using the first four i just remove them and there it is bob's your uncle and just for the sake of completion and so i don't get 100 comments about it you can also do this from the routing matrix so you can hit option and r or go to view routing matrix and you'll open this window and from this window i can also kind of drag a straight line across here and then i can come down here find the correct stereo pair so this one this one and this one and it'll do the same thing but i personally don't like this especially if you have a really big interface i mean i challenge any of you to drag a perfect straight line across for like 32 tracks it doesn't really work for me and i gotta open this window so really how hard is it to go Shplap. not too hard if you ask me so this is what i prefer you do you if you want to name your inputs like i'm doing i'll put a link up there to a video by a good friend of mine mike from let's talk about reaper so you can check that out and he'll walk you through it and he's a fellow reaper tutorial maker who does it really quick so it's i think like a two three minute video okay so that's it for today happy recording and if you like the work i do please donate to me through buymeacoffee.com the link of that will be in the description thanks to alberto for being our most recent donor and take care of yourselves i'll see you soon bye